All right, I'm looking at another Weekly Squirtle. This is Weekly Squirtle number 13. If you're not familiar with Squirtle, it's like Wordle, but with the weekly one, we've got 10 words and a grid, and there's lots of different types of clues that show up. So check out the website if you're not familiar with those, or just look at the, the arrows and you can probably figure it out. And this eight here is the number of guesses we have left. And when you complete a word, you get an, a bonus guess added. So that's all we need to know. Now I've been doing some challenges the last few weeks um, and somebody said that I should start with bands, ben, uh, bands, bends, binds, bonds, and buns um, to get the vowels. So why not? Let's be crazy. Okay, bands, bends. Okay, there's no Ds in the grid, so that's unfortunate. At least there's Bs, that's, that's something, and Ns. And S's, so that's good. At least, at least we don't have a whole bunch of. If there was like no B, D, or S, I'd be in a lot of trouble. So, binds. Oh, okay. Bonds. Okay, we got a we got a green. That's good. And buns. I don't even know what buns is with a D. I should look that up. Okay, so a bund is an embankment apparently. So, interesting. All right, didn't know that one. So we only got one green. Okay. So let's see. Well. The, okay, the, all the red ends there are pointing to that end. Yep, okay. Do we have, so we have no N in rows one, two, three. Ooh, there is an N in row five here. Um, and it's probably, let's see, it can't be one, two, four. Yeah, so it has to be right here. That's an N for sure. All right, so these two words end in N. That's good. Now S's, let's see, there's not a lot of S's. We've got an S in the first column and the fourth column. Those are the only columns with S is now rows, first and third and fourth. Oh, so, okay, so so there's two columns and three rows with S's. So one of the rows is gonna have to have two S's, obviously. So we could have an S there or there. Hmm, a few places. Hmm, I said one of the rows is gonna have to have two S's. What I really meant was one of the columns is gonna have to have two S's, but. You guys all knew what I meant anyways, I'm sure. All right, let's see. Uh, so we've looked at the N's, we've looked at the S's. What about the B's? Um, okay, there's no B in column one, three, four, or five. There's a B in column two. Rows, there's no B in one, two, four, or five. So this has to be the only B in the grid right there. Okay. Now, I, there's an I in this column. It's probably, I mean, it could be right there. We don't really know for sure, but there is a yellow I here. So, an A's, we know there's an A in the second row, first row, and the second column. So, the A could be a lot of places, I guess. This seems like a decent spot for an A, potentially. Now, O, there's, there's an O in the grid, but it's not in the second or fourth row or the second or fourth column, which is kind of interesting too. So we could put an O maybe there or something, but who knows, lots of places. Okay, so this first row and first column is where we need to be focusing right now. We know there's an S in both of them. There's an A in the first row. That's about all we know. So let's put an S there, why not? Seems decent. And then from there, we probably just want to do some new letters. What if we did share? That seems decent, because we know there's an E somewhere and it's not in the second row or column. This would check the first row and column and the fifth row and column, because E is a pretty common letter, so that would be good. And we haven't done H or R yet, those are good letters. We know there's an A somewhere in this first row. It seems okay, let's go with that. Oh, okay, awesome. So that was really helpful in this first column here. So, Interesting, so this this feels like it could be an O potentially, like score maybe? That would be decent, score. Uh, otherwise, it's not an A, it's not an I. It could be an E, but I think O is a pretty good guess right there. So, let's see, and we've got the A in the first row. There needs to be an A in the second column. R-A-N seems, seems pretty good. There's no O there, there's no E. Uh, this could be an I though. I had an I at the top here, but it could also be right there. It could even be in both places, potentially something like tibia or something. Actually, that's not bad. Tibia is not bad. Um, <laughs> that was just the first word I thought of that had I-B-I. 
But that's actually pretty good because it would check two spots for the eye. We haven't done a T yet. EA isn't very good though. That's the problem with tibia. EA is not very good. So maybe that's not good. Uh, okay, we know that's a B, so we don't really need to guess a B there right now. At some point we'll have to, but we know that's a B. So we could guess a B there, but it might be good to try new letters instead, potentially. Uh, what do we know about R's so far? There's an R there. Or there's a, a white R there, I mean. It's not an R there, but there's a... Right, and the R... Yes, yeah, so we oh, we, know, we don't know much. This could be the only R in the grid, potentially. What I'm thinking is maybe Cigar. We haven't done a G yet. And I was thinking C over here, and I there. And there's an A somewhere in this row. That seems good, let's go with Cigar. Oh, it was Cigar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, um, well, that was a good guess. Uh, so it's not Tibia, but well, it could be EA actually isn't, um, isn't impossible. But, okay, so. <laughs> Uh, if that's an O, this could be Agony, potentially. I don't know what this would be, then. This is turning out to be a weird word down here. Uh, this could be something like Rinse? I mean, we do have an S in the row, and an E in the column, so that would be really good if that was Rinse. What's this gonna be? O-B-O. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe, what if this is an... E, uh, what if this is an E? We have something like obese because there is an S in this row as well. And remember, we have two S's in one of these columns. So we could have lasso. Oop. Let's make that an O, not a P. This is um, agent. Agent would be good. And eaten. Eaten. Uh, and tibia, and st oh, uh, what's this gonna be? I was gonna say stall, but L R. Ah, uh, this would have to be like green or preen. <sighs> that almost works. Okay, so if it's not lasso. What's this gonna be? Oh man, I thought I was I thought I had it there. I thought I had it all figured out. This is an L. This could be I mean, cream is not a word, I don't think, with a K. Otherwise I'd say stock. Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and do I think I'm gonna do obese. I think that has a good chance across the middle there. Awesome. Alright, so cigar and obese. All right, this is coming together well. All right, so uh, let's do, now we don't need to do all of the letters. So we could do L-I something S-E or O. Uh, what would that be? Maybe, ooh, liaise, that's a good one. Liaise, like if you're a liaison, then the verb of that is you liaise. Oh, that's not a word? That's a word, I'm sure that's a word. I gotta look that up. Oh, it has another, oh, it's another I in it. Yeah, I knew that, okay. It's L-I-A-I-S-E, okay. Well, all right, well I can't think of anything that works then, so. I guess I'm, I'm gonna have to do stock probably anyways, so let's not worry about the L. Let's just, let's just go ahead and do rinse, it's fine. There we go, okay, it is rinse. And then I'm thinking, oh, it's an E here. Eaten, eaten, like eaten. Like you ate something, it is eaten. Okay, so this is not, oops. this is not lasso. What is this gonna be then? Cause this could be green or preen. Ah, it's preen and stamp and mass. There we go, okay, so. 
Let's do, ooh, so we, we might be able to do both of these here. Oh, although we still need to do stamps, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, let's just, let's just go ahead and do Eaton. We could do the P, but we gotta do stamp anyways, so. Eaton and stamp, and that's gonna do it. All right, very cool. So, I mean, Cigar was just total lucky guess. I, I can't believe that. But, <laughs> other than that, you know, pretty normal words. Stamp, cigar, obese, rinse, eaten, score. Tibia is a little unusual. That's a bone in, I believe, your knee or your leg or something. I'll put that on the screen over there. I should know that. And then agent and mass, although I'm actually wondering if that's pronounced masse. I don't know what it is. I know I've seen that word somewhere before. I think it has an accent on the E, possibly, which is why, I, why I'm thinking it's probably Masse. Um, I really don't know what it is. Definition over there, because I don't know. And then Preen, which is like to, to make yourself look pretty, and um, it's a thing that like uh, you'd think of like a teenager sitting in front of the mirror, combing their hair or something. Or it's used a lot of times with birds, too, that preen their feathers, so. Anyways, there you go. Definition for that one over there, too, just in case I got that wrong. But that was this weekly Squirtle. So um, an interesting idea starting with, you know, kind of the same word, but just changing the vowel each time. So getting the vowels is very helpful. And sometimes getting a lucky guess like Cigar is really helpful, too. So let me know how you do with this weekly Squirtle. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Oh, it could be... We could still have an S there. This could be artsy. <laughs> We're putting a lot of R's in the grid. So, there, and there, and there we go. <laughs> All right, that was an easy one. Decided, maybe. <laughs> so, so doing eight words blindfolded isn't hard enough. We could do spool or after, or spoof and alter, either way. Oh, we could do whiz? There we go, okay. Whew. 